In this video, we are focusing on circumference of a circle. We call the perimeter of a circle the circumference. There are two rules that you need to know. The first one is appropriate to the diameter. If you get a question that has this type of diagram showing the diameter, you use the rule C equals, so circumference equals pi d, pi times diameter. If you get a question that shows the radius, and it looks like this, you use this rule, C equals, so circumference equals 2 pi r, that means 2 times pi times r. Let's have a look at this now. So we're going to calculate the first one here using the diameter. We need to write the rule, so circumference equals, and because it's a diameter question, we go pi d. The next line is going to be a substitution. So we drop the pi symbol down and we're going to use the calculator. So we use our pi button on your calculator. We multiply by 10, which is the diameter. So get your calculator, find the pi button, hit the pi button, multiply it by 10, and you will get an answer that's 31.415926535, keeps going, 89793, and it would keep going. I'm going to round this now to the nearest whole number. So, actually, I'll round it to the nearest two. So, I'm going to put a line through here to separate the first two decimals um, from the third one and underline this one here. So, this is your rounding number. This is your looking number. The looking number is above uh, 0 to 4. It's in the 5 to 9 category, which means this number rounds up. So, the circumference equals... 31.42 and it's centimetres. Let's take a look at this second question here. This is a radius question. So I know my rule is going to be C equals 2 pi R. My second line is substitution. So I go 2 times pi multiplied by the radius of 6.2. And I get my calculator and I punch this in using the pi button. And I get an answer of 38.9557489045134. And that will keep going, but we're not going to. We can't even get that on our calculator, so that's a pretty decent number. Now I'm going to round to the nearest whole number. So I've got to put a line in front of the first decimal and underline it. That's my looking number. Because it sits in the category of 5 to 9, it means this whole number will round up to 39. It is centimetres, so you must make sure you put in the units of measurement. 